Welcome back to LEGO Ninja Warrior Season 2. I'm the Blue Crystal Warrior. And I'm the Red Crystal Warrior. We started the finals off last week and there were three finishers. We're hoping more competitors will join them on Stage 2. But for now, let's go down to the Green Crystal Warrior to see how the Stage 1 course is done. Thanks guys. Competitors will start off with the Gymnast Sleep and end off with their Janes. Next is Close the Door, which Iron Flame was unable to do. Then on the collapsing platforms, they will not do what Space Creature did. On the ledge cross, they must do what Dr. Tubehead couldn't. Lastly, they would run across the wheel dash and hit the buzzer to move on. Can they beat Wild Style's time, which was the fastest in the previous episode? Mia is our first starter, and the first real ninja to face this course. But is a real ninja able to defeat this course? Not this one. She slid right off the platform. The Scorcher is ready to defeat this course. Since Factor 2 had failed, he has a chance to get further than he did. He stumbled on the collapsing platforms, but is moving on to the obstacle the scientist failed. He's finished that obstacle, but slipped on the next one. AJ, the owner of Extra Stuff, is up next. Some of the other members of Extra Stuff didn't get very far on this course, so he's hoping he can restore Extra Stuff's good name to our fans. He's fallen, but I think he accomplished his goal. We have another virus on our course, and his name is Dragon Master. I think he is competing with the Scorcher to see who can get farther. If he wants to win, then he will have to cross the wheel dash, which he did. The Evil Man is technically one of our runners from Extra Stuff, but he is their greatest enemy. He wants to beat them at something else that isn't just war, but that's not happening today. The Green Ninja is going to do what he can to beat this course. Zane failed early on in the season, and Mia failed before making it to the fourth obstacle. So what can Lloyd do? He's moving through the ledge cross, but is unable to make the jump. This anonymous warrior is our penultimate runner. They told us that if they are the last man standing, then they will reveal their identity. We're hoping to see the mystery solved, but there are others who want that title. He's crossing the wheel dash, stumbled a bit, but made it to the buzzer. And now it's time for the Lego Ninja Warrior Season 1 Champion to compete. Spark Metal has seen what happened to the other two competitors who made it to Stage 2 last season, but will he move on this time? He's moving through each obstacle carefully. He doesn't want to make a wrong move that will cost him his spot in Stage 2. He's been the first three obstacles, but these next two are more challenging. The ledge cross wears out your arms, and the wheel dash is very easy to slip on. He has one more obstacle to defeat. Oh no! He just barely missed the platform! The entire crowd is standing out of respect for our fallen hero. The Great Evil Man was in last place out of our runners today. He wanted to beat the extra stuff members, but that didn't work out well. Mia finished half the course, but jumped too far off the collapsing platforms. JJ and Lloyd both fell on the ledge cross. The Scorcher failed on the first wheel of the wheel dash, and Spork Metal almost finished it. Dragon Master and the Anonymous Warrior were able to finish the course. Congratulations to everyone who participated. Five of you will be moving on. As for the rest of you, you had a great season. Make sure you don't miss next week's episode of LEGO Ninja Warrior.